Hey everyone, thanks for hanging out with the NFL Live crew. We got Josina Anderson, Damian Woody, and Lewis Riddick. So here we are about a month after the NFL draft, a few months away from the start of the season. But in the AFC, start with you, Lou. Mm -hmm. Which team do you still think has some question marks? Well, I'm going to go with the Miami Dolphins for me personally because, look, not only do you have question marks at the most important position on the football team, and that being quarterback, and whether or not Josh Rosen actually is the answer both short-term and long-term, but all the stuff surrounding him is still a question mark too, namely the offensive line, which is one of the worst, was well, one of the worst in 2018. And then on the defensive side of the football, although they got one of my favorite players in this draft and Christian Wilkins from Clemson, do they have enough juice up front as far as rushing the passer to really make this team overall one that's going to be anything but fighting for the bottom of the division there in the AFC. So, look, they have a lot of work to do. That's why Brian Flores is there. That's why him and Chris Greer, Chris Greer have now been paired together. A lot of work to do down there in South Florida. Are you going to say in the AFC East, you're going to go outside this division? Yeah, I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm going to go in the AFC North. I'm going to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I know that Mike Tomlin hasn't had a losing record in his tenure with the Pittsburgh Steelers, but we all know everything that transpired this year as far as – you know, they didn't have Le'Veon Bell, and, and they traded away Antonio Brown and all the, the drama that, that, you know, that transpired with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Can Mike Tomlin rein these guys back in and keep them focused on what they need to do in order to win the, in, in order to win the AFC North? Well, I think there are a lot of teams that you can go with in the AFC. You can go with the Jets for a number of reasons that we've discussed plenty today. You can also go with the Oakland Raiders and everything that is going on with John Gruden, the pressure that's on him since they were 12-4 and four and on the doorstep of doing big things in the uh, postseason before Derek Carr got hurt. But I'm actually going to go with the Denver Broncos, and this is why. This is a team that won the Super Bowl in the 2015 season, lost it and was there in the 2013 season, and has been going downhill incrementally since then, winning nine games, then five, then six. Obviously, having the transition with Vance Joseph, you've lost a couple of pieces in Demarius Thomas, a number of defensive players like Malik Jackson, Danny Trevathan. And now you got to show, particularly on John Elway's point, that you can not only succeed with a quarterback that you bring in via free agency, whether it be Peyton Manning or Joe Flacco, but that you can show that you can do it with the draft pick and the guy that they just brought in, in Drew Locke, that you can show that you can uh, have success uh, on the other side of the field as well defensively as you continue to lose pieces, that you can settle the situation with Chris Harris. So I picked the Denver Broncos because they were already at the upper echelon and they seem to be going in the other direction. And this is a blue chip organization that should not be. All right. So we kind of focused on the teams that still need to do some work. Mm -hmm. So do you think there's a team there? And if there were to be one to unseat the New England Patriots in the AFC championship? Yeah. I'm is gonna, there a team? <laughs> sure. I mean, there, there's a couple that could get hot and catch New England on a bad day. And uns Look, the, the AFC is going to be tightly contested. I'm going to stick with Kansas City only because they were basically an offsides penalty away from being the AFC representative in the Super Bowl anyway. Now, there's a lot that's going on with this football team, mm -hmm. both from a distraction standpoint and from a schematic overhaul standpoint on the defensive side. But – they have a coach that understands this football team better than anyone. They have a quarterback that, in a short amount of time, is really going to be considered for the Hall of Fame, as far as I'm concerned. But so, you know what? That, 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 that's neither here nor there. From, from but they have some very, very, very good pieces to work with on the defensive side of the football. Can they get it all together? If they can, they'll be right there in the AFC Championship again. All right. For Lou, Damian, Josina, I'm Diana. Thanks for hanging with us.